Okay, what's up guys? So this is uh, also a pre-recording footage and uh, just doing some voiceover afterwards. Uh, this will be a pretty quick one. This is just kind of the leftover footage from last time, which is about 30 minutes. And I'm playing this at 1.5 speed, so this will probably be 20 something minutes. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into it. If you remember last time we had gotten the Ultima spell, now we just had to bust into the Cyclone. In order to do that, we need to call the Wyvern, which we're doing right now. In order to do this, you have to go to the mirror, which is uh, by going to the first floor. There's some stairs on the left and work your way up, which will call him. And then uh, the game doesn't tell you this. Really, you have to like talk to some people uh, to figure out that you're supposed to do this. So then the game also doesn't tell you that now you have to go wait outside. So now you're going to go and st uh, after this little scene plays, we're going to go stand outside and wait for the wyvern to carry us home. This game definitely gets a little jumbled with uh, like where you are and aren't supposed to go, I think. I think it's definitely a fault of it just being an old JRPG. But like, look, I'm going to run around and find stuff that I've already found because... It's been so long and I don't really know what else to do. So then you go outside and the game still hasn't told you what you're supposed to do. So I was just like, oh yeah, uh, fuck it, I'll just walk up to the cycle and I'm sure that's, that's a valid uh, idea. You know, we have a quick fight. I'm still making the mistake of teleporting everything, which is a mistake that I know is a mistake in hindsight, but I didn't know at the time. If you ever play this game, as soon as you get the Ultima spell, you should just use the Ultima spell. You should not try to teleport everything, because it's not going to get you very far at the end of the game. But you know, I was young and dumb. Uh, actually at the time of this recording, uh, recording the audio, so here we are, like, I think it's been almost a week since I recorded this footage, and now I'm doing the audio. At this time, I've now beaten the game. Um, the final boss was done in a live session that, uh, can we look forward to, I think, maybe in the next couple days here. And then um, after this, we'll be starting, I think I talked about it in that video too, but after this, we'll be starting uh, the Snow Queen quest of Persona 1. And th that'll be a pre-recorded Let's Play. I'll be doing the, the audio afterwards like I am right now. And then... Uh, And then as I'll still be doing a live playthrough, uh, probably just a little bit less frequently. Uh, and that will be a game that I haven't decided on yet. So as soon as I do decide on that, that'll be something that we work on. Um, right now I'm thinking maybe like Legend of Dragoon or something, but I don't want to play a game that's too, like, overly long. So anyways, now we're inside of the Cyclone, which is uh, not a greatly long dungeon, I don't think. Uh, but it is, you know, still a dungeon. Um, a lot of the enemies here are going to just be former bosses, like the, uh, like the, uh, captains and the Lamias. Oh, you know what? I think I do get lost in this dungeon, though, for, like, a little bit. And then I 
I've been getting copyright claims on my videos where I did grinding sessions and the last video where I played black background music. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I was told that anything before, anything from the 1920s and before was public domain, so we can't copyright it. So that's what we're doing. But I mean, it's fine either way. It's not that big of a deal. So we just kind of keep crawling through here. There's a lot of equipment. Um, there's also a lot of monsters in the boxes, so those are going to be fights. Uh, to watch out for. It's also before I like realized that uh, that it's a good idea to like organize my inventory. It's not something that I do until uh, much closer to the end. I don't remember getting waxed this hard. Looks like I got fucked up though. It looks like I got fucked up in this fight. Which I honestly don't remember, but that's fine. We do make it out of it alive, barely, but barely is better than not at all, so this is going to be a lot, of, there's a lot of dying in this game, for sure. Uh, like, thinking back on this playthrough, like, I just died a lot, and, uh, especially, like, off screen, I die a lot more. Another like kind of issue I have with this game is that um, mana cost increases with level of spell. So like the higher the higher level your cure spell is, and like therefore the more effective it is, the also the more mana it costs. Which like makes sense is like higher level spells should cost more mana to use, but it's also kind of just like Intrusive because it just increases by one every time it gains a level and it's not like every time it uh It's not like just a flat Cost that increases as you upgrade the spell uh, Like periodically like it normally would be in a, a game like this Like it's not like a cure going to Kuro, which obviously increases the mana cost. It's like a cure one to going cure two to Going cure three and the mana cost is increasing a bunch And I think the issue is that sometimes the, the character level doesn't uh, increase alongside that. Alright, these golems gave me a lot of fucking trouble too. Like these were not okay enemies for me to be fighting. Especially the later ones, the... You're gonna run into, I think it's like two or three more types of golems. 
Not only the um, the mithril golems in the final dungeon are the worst. It's just a lot of like using really basic magic. Um, but this is when I also when I realized that like enemies like this I should probably just try to fight. Like tougher enemies. Because just teleporting everything kinda doesn't get the job done. Wood golems. Should took my eyes off the screen for a minute, so this might not be more wood golems. This might be the same wood golems. Which spells an even bigger issue. Look how fucking annoying these things are. There's a lot of like really bad inventory management going on here too because I don't really like structure my inventory well at all. But we're just going to keep on carrying on. Yeah, I think I definitely go the wrong way what's going which what we're in the middle of It's gonna be a lot of more boros too. Uh, in this area and in the last like two dungeons, they just become a big like a big enemy for a while. Um, just kind of an issue, I think. You have to be uh, you definitely have to be prepared with the uh, the remedies.
and you're gonna start running into these fucking monsters. I hate these guys. The, uh... Whatever these things are called. Oh god. The Royal Guards and the Black... and the Death Guards. Uh, in the final dungeon. You know, it's just like... Horseman type enemies, they're fucking terrible. A lot of item usage. Yeah, this is yeah, this is where I realized that I was definitely lost. And I had no idea where the fuck I was. Kind of like annoying enemies too. This area for sure. Oh, got a little bit of a stutter there. No big deal. We'll just carry on. I don't think this is a very productive uh, episode either. From what I, from what I kind of vaguely remember about what happened here, I don't get a whole lot done. I do get some good experience though. Again, I don't think that grinding in this game is as impactful because of uh, how leveling works, how like the experience is. Oh, and this guy was also a boss. I've seen a few of these so far. This guy was also a boss earlier in the game. Um, that has now just been shamefully recycled. But this is the end of this one, because where I save and call it quits for today.